Hi, welcome to Excel Video 56. We're uh, still on conditional formatting. We're going to go through the last example in our list of new rules today. And I've got a little more complicated example to go through. Let's assume that from some record, either from something we maintain, maybe our, our practice management system or EMR, something gives us a list of dates that I have three physicians in here, just A, B, and C, dates that these physicians were on call during the month. And what I want to do is I want to conditionally format and find the dates that were weekend dates because the way our group practices, there's a premium for taking call on the weekend. So what we can do is as we refresh these dates and go through it, you'll see um, that, uh, let's just, if we put a number here, and now those, those two are weekends, those two are weekends. As we keep rolling through it, you'll see um, the weekend dates change, and I want to show you how I did that. So I highlight the cells, conditional formatting. Let's go to manage rules because I've already got a rule in there I want to work with. And here it is. I'm going to edit this rule. We've been through the first four. Format only unique or duplicate values is only that. It's just is it unique or duplicate? You can um, highlight those. We've seen previous examples of that, so I'm going to skip that and do the use a formula thing. And this is where the 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 formula is. What Excel does is it looks at this formula, whatever formula you have here, and if it, the formula is true, then conditionally format the way I've got it designed and I've just made it blue. Here's the formula. There's two pieces to it. The two functions you need to understand are let's well let's start with or. The or function says if this function right here before the comma weekday b4 equals 1 or weekday b4 equals 7 then come back true if neither one of those are true then come back false so if if part a is true it's true if part b is true it's true if neither one are true then come back false and so we'll conditionally format if either weekday b4 or equals 1 or weekday b4 equals 7 let me help you understand the weekday formula this may come in handy for you as well and we'll apply that. Weekday is over here. And what I've got is I've just picked some days in May and said, all right, Sunday, May 2nd to is uh, what this weekday formula does. Is all this is doing is I'm taking the weekday of I4, the weekday of I5, the weekday of I6. The way weekday works is it returns one if it's a Sunday, two if it's a Monday, three Tuesday, four Wednesday, all the way down to seven is Saturday. So if we come back and look at this formula again, I think it'll make sense. What we're doing is if weekday is 4, if weekday of B4 equals 1, which over here tells us if it's a Sunday, or if weekday B4 equals 7, if it's a Saturday, then it returns a true answer and formats the cell. And the clever thing is that notice I'm just putting B4 here but it works not just in B4, but it works in B5, B6, B7, all the way down. Uh, and that's the trick. So what I do, let's just click OK, is put my dates in here, and then let's just put a number in here and have the uh, conditional formatting delete and um, have it refresh these random numbers. And you can see it quickly picks out Saturdays and Sundays based on the OR function and the weekday formula and conditional formatting Got to pick that cell. I missed it. Conditional formatting. Looking at that expression and saying, yep, if either one of those are true, then format the cell. That's With that idea, you can format all kinds of things. If you can put a formula in here, an if function or any variety of things that um, give you a true or false answer, as long as it's true, it will come back and format the cell. You can do all kinds of things with conditional formatting using formulas. Hope you found that helpful. The next uh, video will be a little simpler, I promise. Thanks for watching.